Hi guys, welcome to QA Automated. In this video, we are going to learn about writing your first Appium test case, starting the Appium server, and running your first Appium test case in Android Studio. So let's get started. To write the first Appium test case, let's go to the Android Studio. So here, uh, we have a folder structure like app. Inside app, you can find SRC folder. Inside SRC, there are three subfolder, Android test, main and test. So we will be writing <coughs> test cases in this test folder. So inside test, we have this Java and a package name. So click right click on the package and click on the new, new Java class. So we will give a name as a first test. Click on OK. So this is created. So here we will copy the link from my blog. So my blog is here and I have already copied this code and this link is attached in the description box below. So so write the code here. Okay. And change this test, test place name as per whatever we have given here. So let's look at the test case, how to write a test case. So here web, uh, so we have created a driver, web driver. Okay. So this is the uh, Appium driver, which we will use. So before uh, writing test cases, we have to do some setups of desired capabilities. What is this desired capabilities? It is we are telling the Appium to run test cases in a particular device in particular browser in particular android version of the phone what is the platform we are using android or ios so these kind of things we need to inform appium before even we begin to write the test cases okay so let us see how to do that we have to create a new object of desired capabilities then in that we have to set the device name so this is my device name then we have to uh, add the browser name uh, so this is not not mandatory field <coughs> but it's always better to set up all the things before you start uh, the next is the version android version whatever what device you are using and you can go to the settings and find your version in about me section so then we have to check uh, inform the platform name so app as we know appm support both android and ios and here we can specify it then uh, we can specify the app package so in this um, uh, our first test case what we are doing is we are uh, launching the calculator app already present in your phone every phone it is there so here is the package name for that uh, then we have also activity name so we are um, specifying which activity we want to launch it will directly launch that activity okay this is very important as we will be communicating with the appian server which indirectly will communicate with your device here we need to give the path and the port number of the appian server so how it is connecting that we will come to know when we start the appian server i'll show you <coughs> once we have done the before setup uh, we can write the test case so as as we are going to use the calculator app here we are uh, uh, just finding the name uh, and clicking on a button and we are clicking on a number 7 here. So that's all we are not doing much as it is our first test case. We are just checking whether we can launch the application, how the Appium server is connecting in our mobile app and that's it when then we are calling driver.quit which will close the application running in your mobile phone. Okay. Uh, let's start the Appium server now. So uh, double click on this. It will launch the Appium server window. So it's asking for the latest version. You don't want uh, here. Uh, once this uh, server is launched, click this Android settings. Here you can get the APK file if the .apk file is present in your system. Uh, uh, so that apk will be launched and the test cases will be running on that sys, uh, that apk but as we are uh, using calculator app which is already present in the 
mobile phone so we don't need currently to specify this path so click on settings now in the settings uh, see this address this address we have used in our appium test case also uh, to connect to the appium server and the port number should be matching so uh, let's check what port number we have given so here it is 4723 the server should also have 4723 so you need to have the same port number once the setting is done here you can click on the play button and it will start the appium server <coughs> you can see here where the starting platform name all this command is getting run now once you see the screen that means your server is already started and you can go uh, and uh, run your test case but before doing that we need a device connected to our system and we need developers options in that device to be enabled so that it can detect the system with the adb command so how we can do that so let's check that <coughs> so this is the this is my phone here i have to go in the settings option click on settings and then go to developers option and on it okay if you can't see developers option in uh, your settings screen that means it is not enabled for you to so to enable that click on about phone and here you can find the build number on that build number you have to click seven times so that the developers option will be enabled now our phone is connected and our server is started let's run the test case so click on this class name then right click and click on run first test case so it will start uh, doing a gradle build and it will launch the application in my phone so let's wait for it to build successfully first you can see build is successful now test case is started running uh, now the connection is going to establish between the appium server inside the mobile phone so you can see your so it will launch the calculator application as we have written the test for that so let's wait okay it got executed seven digit got pressed now it will close the driver okay so our test case ran successfully so guys try this out and let me know your questions and feedback like share comment and subscribe thank you